What's up YouTube, it's Milner here again with another Xcode tutorial. This Xcode tutorial is on dragging multiple images around the screen. Um, and this tutorial was suggested by Locker's Swagbooks and his channel should appear there. Um, and basically in this tutorial we're going to be creating this. <laughs> um, and as you can see I can drag both of these images around the screen whilst the other one's bouncing around. And I can collide with both. See that one collided, I can reset. And the other one collided and I can reset. So they both work with collision. And I can drag them both around at the same time. Now multi-touch is enabled, meaning I can drag both of them around at the same time with two fingers. But on the computer I don't have two fingers, uh, hence why I can't do that. Um, so without further ado, let's get going. Um, so before I do anything, I'm going to go up to Google. And I'm going to search for images. And uh, I'll just grab a random one. And why don't I grab the one I used in my example there? So if I just drag that to my desktop there. And uh, open up our image view project. If you haven't seen my other image view tutorials, the first one will be in the description. Um, so let's just drag our image here. And I'm going to rename that to random just because... Uh, I already have a file called images in my project um, so don't need to copy it and first thing we need is an outlet for an image view so just go into the dot h and make your image view um, I'm gonna call mine image 2 save that now go into the dot m um, and we need to go to the touches began method that we created um, and in here, we need to basically create an if statement to check if the image is either the first image or the second image that's being touched. Um, so if we go after the CG point location, touch location in view self, go after here and create an if statement and don't complete it. And we'll open parentheses. And in here, we're going to put another square bracket and we're going to say if the touch view is equal to image then and then you can do this code down here that we created last video then image.center equals location um, and if we just go back up here and open up the two brackets and close them um, now basically what's that doing is because up here we created a touch basically saying checking for if the person's touched the screen and we also created a location on the screen of where that touch was on the screen and now what we're saying is, if the touch view, so if they touched the image that we've created, then make sure the image is where they touch. So basically allow them to drag it around the screen. Um, so that's basically it. I uh, don't know how else I'm going to explain that, but hopefully you can understand that. And then we also need to do an else statement, else if, oops, else if statement for our other image view. So it's going to be exactly the same. So touch view, uh, close square brackets, is equal to, and this time it's going to be image2, and then it's going to be image2 dot center, space equals space and location. Um, and make sure you have your self collided button down um, method down here, otherwise it won't collide at all. And uh, one more thing, we need to go into the CG point location and change the from touch view to now self view because it, there's going to be um, multiple things now. Um, so that's all we need to do for that touches began bit. Now we need to work out the uh, collision thing. So if you go into the if statement where we did the collision here, and instead of copying out all this code again and changing it from image to image2, we're going to do our if statement that we learned in the other tutorial here, the if command. So if you go into the uh, first line of the if statement here, and after the first close off parentheses we're going to do the space and then we're going to do the two slashes again for all and then we're going to copy and paste this over here and paste it in there and we're just going to change the image fr from image to image two and now that's basically going if it equals if the image one frame collides or image two frame collides then do this rather than copying out the whole code again um, so that's just a quick tip there um, and I think that's all we need to do in Xcode for now. 
So if we go over to the view controller and now we need to add our image. So if we just make this one a bit smaller and I duplicate that and drag that over here and change that image to the random that we made. Random, there you go. And we also need to make sure user interaction is enabled. So if I select both of these images and then go down here to the attributes first tab and select user interaction and multiple touch. That means that the user can now drag them around the screen and basically enables them to use multi-touch and stuff like that. Um, so make sure you have that. And uh, now we need to connect up. So we go to file zone and connect image two to our image view and save that. And then find our reset method here. And if we go image two dot center space equals space CG point make and then we now need to find these two uh, values here. So if we go back into Interface Builder and we find our image values, so it's 108 by 391. So it's going to be 108 by 391. Um, I did explain how you can do all this in other videos. So if you're following along for just this one, make sure you check them out so you would know what I'm doing. Um, and I'm also going to reset this image center here because it's now changed because we've moved it. So it's now 216 by 391. So 216 by 391, uh, save, and now we can build a run again. And uh, now you can see if I just collide there, reset works for both images. If I move them really far away uh, and reset, you can see they both appear down the bottom again. Um, so there you go guys, just a quick tutorial on multiple image dragging. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, and I hope you understood everything that we did here. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you in my next tutorials.